Because the Edge Transport Server is not a member of Active Directory, connections between an Edge Transport Server and a Hub Transport Server must be made manually. To do this, there is a three-step process called the Edge Sync process. Essentially, you create an Edge Sync XML file on the Edge Transport Server. You copy it over to a Hub Transport Server and you perform a new Edge subscription on the Hub Transport Server using that file. You can import the file on the Hub Transport Server using either the Exchange Management Shell or the Exchange Management Console through a wizard. But the only way to create the file is through the Exchange Management Shell. So let's show you how to do that. So here we are on our Edge Transport Server. We'll open the Exchange Management Shell. And then we'll type new dash edge subscription dash file name and then we'll give it a logical file name like edge subscription info dot xml or edge sub info dot xml. The file name and location is completely your choice. Just remember where it is because you're going to have to copy it over to your hub transport server. So once it's created, you're going to copy it over to the Hub Transport server. You need to make sure you have connectivity between the servers, not only physically, but make sure you have FQDN connectivity as well. If you wanted to import the file using the Exchange Management shell, you would open the shell and type new dash edge subscription. and supply the file location on the Hub Transport server, wherever it is that you move the file. Dash create internet send connector, dollar sign true dash site, and then put in the site. In this case, we're just going to leave the default first site name. Now that's only one method. The other method, and probably the easier one, is to use the wizard if you open up your Exchange Management Console, if you expand out the Organization Configuration Work Center and click Hub Transport, you'll notice under Actions that there's an option New Edge Subscription. And here you can see you can select the site, you can browse and locate the XML file, and you can have it create the Send Connector at the same time. Once the subscription is complete, you can use the test-edge synchronization commandlet to determine if there's a problem between the Edge Transport Server and the Hub Transport Server. So I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next lesson.